Welcome to another episode of The Game Machine. Today, we take a look at Street Fighter V on the PlayStation 4. You can also get this on your computer. So, find out if this is worth diving into and punching somebody in the face. It's always good to punch somebody in the face, but find out if you should punch somebody in the face playing this game. In the game. Find out on this episode of The Game Machine. It starts now. Street Fighter V has a fantastic art style. It's definitely much different than Street Fighter IV. They're kind of going for a similar idea, but the art styles are very strikingly different. And also, if you look at this on an HDTV and compare it to the trailers, well, the trailers don't really do it justice. You actually have to see this in motion to really just take in that beautiful art style. Especially the character models. Backgrounds less so, but the character models, they just stand out perfectly. Soundtrack is a great mix of old and new tracks. So you got new tracks for the stages, and you got classic remixes for your favorite characters such as Ken, Ryu, and so on. The roster boasts 16 unique playable fighters. Each character, for the most part, plays pretty much differently. Even Ryu and Ken get shaken up a little bit. Ryu plays more like you expect him to. Ken has the same similar moveset, except a few things have been changed up a little to make him a little bit different. People like Nash, or a.k.a. Charlie, is no longer a charge character. That's right, he throws fireballs like the rest of them. And also you got new characters, like my personal favorite, Rashid, who does tornadoes and fly kicks and... Ah, oh, he's just so great, I love him. And one mode I really do like, and we'll get into the mode issue here in a minute, but survival mode is actually fun. It's a unique twist over the original idea. In the new survival mode... After every match, use the points that you earned and use them to either boost your health, boost stats, or even take a risk for more points. Lose more health, but yet gain more points. And it's a cool way to earn fight money and also to unlock character colors. Hey, guess what? You can play locally with your friends. Yes, yeah, a fighting game where you can play locally with your friends. I know it's not a new concept, but still, that's good. As I mentioned about fight money before, you earn fight money to unlock future characters, costumes, and all kinds of other stuff without having to buy a super ultra turbo hyper mode. Though, you do have to be connected online. There is that, which we'll get to later. Also, the PC and PS4 versions are crossplay compatible. Yay! Though, I've only played the PS4 version, so I can't speak to the PC. Now that we've talked a little bit about what makes Street Fighter V a strong contender, let's talk about what it really needs to do to become a true world warrior. Ten points. I did it. Online is functional, I think. As of this time, it is functional. But earlier, it wasn't functional. It was down for maintenance. Then they were like, okay, we'll get it up by 6 p.m. Pacific. And I was like, oh, no, we need to get it up by an hour later. And then they were like, you know, it's it's indefinite. Yep, screw it. And then everybody's freaking out. And then it got up by 11 Eastern. And yeah, it's a big mess. Even turn the betas was a little rough. They should have had this stuff ironed out. Get to fixing those servers, guys. Speaking of online troubles... There's no multi-man lobbies. There is ranked and casual matches, which they work really well when the online works. The lobbies are one to two people. Hatch it in March? But why even have it out right now? It, it doesn't make much sense. I guess it's the only way you can play it with your friends, but something just irks me about that. Oh, and if you want your arcade mode with your character-driven stories, you pick a character, you go, and you play several matches, and you get a little story bits here and there. Nope. Nope, nope. You do, however, get character story modes in here. There's a big story mode coming in June. There's a theme here. Things coming later. You can go through each character's story mode and go through a thrilling set of three or four short chapters, seven to eight minutes long. Yeah, seven to eight minutes long. Won't take you long to go through it with 16 characters. Well, hey, if you want to kind of relive some of your old days and just see what you're like against the CPU, crank up the difficulty, why not go to the versus mode and select versus CPU? Mm. Okay, where does it 
Yo, you forgot that. You have terrible character lobbies. You have terrible story mode. And there's no versus CPU. Also, in survival mode to unlock the colors. Only in survival mode? No, I like survival mode. Some people really don't like it at all. They think it's pretty dull. Challenges, bikes go here and there and everywhere, but I kind of like it. However, it's the only option to unlock the alternative colors at this time. Can't we just play the game normally through one particular character and then be like, surprise, you get a character color? Guess not. All right, let's take the strengths and the weaknesses of Street Fighter V and take a look and see if it's worthy of being a true world warrior. you the divide in our class. If you stand in my way, I will kill you. Alright, so yeah. In the weakness section, I really did give the beat down on Street Fighter V. I really like this game a lot. It has a lot of potential, but the problem is, right now it's just potential. The core fighting mechanics and the roster and the design of the game looks and plays fantastic it's quite enjoyable however it's really just a glorified sixty dollar multiplayer mode at this time and it barely works at the moment and that's sixty bucks you can wait till march where it's going to get more content and dlc characters are going to start coming out that you can unlock with earning fight money without having to actually pay for them yourself or wait till june when the bigger story mode update comes out really unless you were true online warrior I would say hold off for a little bit. All right, guys. So tell me, what do you think the strengths and weaknesses of Street Fighter V are to you if you've already been playing it? What do you want to see? What do you think needs to be fixed? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys once again for watching another review of The Game Machine. I hope you like the new format. Please let me know, too, down below as well what you think of that. Also, we're giving away a copy of Street Fighter V. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it here, but I'm probably going to use something from the TGM Vault to have you guys go back and look. But, yeah, I want to give this out to you guys because, A, I'm saving somebody 60 bucks, and, two... You guys have given me so much as far as your comments and the fact that you guys spend the time watching the video. So I want to give back to you. And so, yeah, please let me know. Also, we got Street Fighter 5 matches that you can watch. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, fight on.